Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, Microsoft has been working on a new feature in the Edge browser for desktop called Circle to Copilot, which is very similar to Google's Circle to Search that you get on your Android phone, as an example. Now, just to let you know that this Circle to Copilot seems to be making its way now into the stable version. And I'll leave a video in the end screen if you'd like some more info regarding Circle to Copilot. But I have noticed today in my region on the 22nd of April, if we just head over to our settings and we navigate to our appearance page. And if we scroll down, we now get Circle to Copilot. And I have noticed that this seems to be on a controlled rollout. So I'm only noticing it in Edge on my Windows 11 device and not on my Windows 10 device. So at this stage, uh, it's hard to say if Microsoft is actually pushing this out using a controlled rollout or if they are A-B testing this with a, limit, a limited subset of users, which they are known to do. So just a quick recap on um, the settings and the overview of what the menu provides for Circle to Copilot because I have posted on this previously. Yeah, we can enable Circle to Copilot in a web page and enable Circle to Copilot on screen. So you've got those two options which are toggled on by default. And all you do is when those options are on, you just you just click your um you just right click on your mouse and you just draw the circle as the name implies, circle to copilot. And whatever you have circled around an image or text pops that into copilot in the sidebar, and then you can ask copilot anything about that said image or that highlighted section. And just to demonstrate one more time, right click and there we go, circle to copilot. So you get the idea may be handy if you are prone to doing a lot of searches uh, in Microsoft Edge for images and text and so on. And then if we head to configure Circle to Copilot, yeah, we can also use a shortcut to launch Circle to Copilot on screen. Now, what this does is it actually gives you a rectangular highlighter instead of the actual circle option. So if we use Alt, Shift and S, you can see it kind of glazes over and then I can then use the drag to select an area there we go and that just pops that over that in a nice little fluent design and you can ask copilot which sends it directly to copilot as demonstrated search image with bing copy and then you have you've got an overflow menu where you can um, annotate with squares and you can draw and you put in arrows and so on and save the image down to your um, save that down to your local drive so that's another option you have alt shift and s which gives you a couple of almost screenshot functionality so circle to copilot now seems to be making its way into the stable version as mentioned and uh, this doesn't seem to be attached to any update uh, it wasn't there when i posted late last week on the latest update to microsoft edge version 124 which will be in the end screen so as mentioned either rolling out using a control rollout or microsoft once again which they are known to do is testing a new feature in the stable version with a limited subset of users. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.